Allah Azza wa Jalla travel in the land and see take lessons says Allah Azza wa Jalla we had a chance to travel during the last four days thank Allah we saw places we hadn't seen before Allah Azza wa Jalla فتبارکالله و احسن الخالقین. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Allah Azza wa Jalla created the best of everything and gave it to mankind. Some people, some of, some of men, humanity saw its value and gave thanks and gratitude, shukr. But some of them didn't realize it and passed away. Some people have left their imprint and some are forgotten altogether completely. Thank Allah, Anatolia and the places we live in, the places Muslims live in, Allah gave the most beautiful lands since ancient times all the nations favored and took on this area as it was suitable for life there was prosperity water and cultivation Allah gave everything whoever did well as we said did so and left every nation lived until its time was over and another nation came after it what remains again is these lands this is the case with this world they say this world doesn't remain to anyone, what remains is faith, Iman. Millions and billions of people have lived and are gone now. Those who have won are people who made shukr, gave thanks and gratitude to Allah who performed worship to Allah and who trusted in Allah. We have to take example and lesson from this. Many local and foreign tourists come, they look around. And when they look, they should take lesson from it. However, they don't take lesson. Very few do. They get amazed by how people had found and made these things, how they had carried these rocks and stones and how they had carved them. Despite all the modern tools, people cannot do the same now. How could they do it then? People think about this as such. Instead of thinking about this, think about where they are now, what happened to them. This is what we should think about. Indeed, people do see amazing things. Allah has given strength and mind to mankind. They can do anything and everything. But they should use their minds a little bit for faith and iman so that there is a benefit for them. Otherwise, there is no benefit in leaving lands and buildings of rocks if you don't leave Iman behind. We say thanks, shukr to Allah for the favors He has granted us. With thanks and gratitude, favors increase. And when you don't make shukr, 
turns into suffering. Everything has its owner. And we should do as he likes. Otherwise you cannot earn anything. What you would get is only loss. May Allah protect us. May Allah make our thanks and gratitude everlasting, inshallah. May Allah give us everlasting favors and bounties.